Welcome to It Happened in Grand Prairie, Texas, as we bring you the history of our city and some of the important people that have made this history. Not only have they made history, sometimes they're making history even this very day. And this is the magic date of April the 23rd, 2007. And this is our history tape number 596. And we're so excited today. We are extremely high honored today by having a past mayor of Grand Prairie, Texas, the very honorable and most honorable Jerry DeBow. Thank you, Ruthie. Your Pleasure Honor, to be with you today. Your Honor, we're so excited about having you here today because we have a wonderful subject as we are getting into the end of April. We know that right around the corner is always Cinco de Mayo and maybe city elections and some of the great things and graduation that happened that very magic month. But sitting on your absolute right is a very wonderful lady, mm -hmm. Gloria Carrillo. We are so pleased to welcome you back, my dear. thank you so much for inviting us. Yes, thank yes. You. 20 years that you two have been together just really working hard to bring something to Grand Prairie that we had never had there as a citywide celebration in all of our being as a wonderful city here in the Metroplex, Cinco de Mayo. And uh, Mayor, I'm going to get with you in just a moment, but I need to get with Gloria. Gloria, how yes, long have you lived in Grand Prairie, Texas, my dear? We've lived in Grand Prairie probably 22 years. 22 Tw years? 22 years, yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. You yes. were here two years before you got your feet wet with a very exciting yes. thing. What brought to your mind and how on earth did you ever think of doing such a wonderful celebration? It did not occur to me. It occurred to His Honor. Jerry Debo. Now, isn't that exciting? Yes. He's the one that came to my office with two gentlemen that are not with us today. One of them is traveling, and the other one has a big construction project going, Basamo Day and Gasporas. Yes. And they had just bought the Jack in the Box on uh, Main Street in Second, yes. downtown Grand Prairie. They had planned a grand opening, fiesta, and for February. They'd hired music, they'd set up a stage the day of the event. It started snowing sideways, snowing and sleeting oh. sideways. <laughs> and the event, they, they had already paid for all of the uh, entertainment. The event had to be canceled. And they contacted Jerry and said, you know, they, were, they had invited him to their festivities. Yes. And of course it was canceled. And once it was canceled, uh, the mayor approached them of maybe doing something in the city for Cinco de Mayo brought him to my office. I was with Dixie and Mozzie at that time. And we met and we made an instant connection and we were off. That's good. Now now I've got to get back to the mayor. Yes, ma'am. Honorable Mayor DeBoe, how long have you been in Grand Prairie, Texas, young man? Since 1967. Since 1967. And you came to us from what magic place? Odessa, Texas, where my wife was from. Odessa, Texas, yes. And coming to Grand Prairie, Texas, uh, what brought you to Grand Prairie, please, sir? Uh, we moved here so that I could continue my education. My wife had previously, wor uh, she graduated from Texas Tech, and she had worked with uh, Gloria after graduating from Tech in the law firm in Lubbock before yeah. moving to back home to Odessa, where she and I met. And then we moved here and happened to run into Gloria here in town as well. That's wonderful. So, and coming to Grand Prairie, Texas, uh, did you have your family with you other than your wife? Do you, I know that you're two beautiful children, so. My, they were born in Grand Prairie in 1970 and, seven, 70 and 75. Name them, please. Vance and Dion. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's wonderful. And Doris, your beautiful wife, isn't she wonderful? Wasn't she a great first lady? She was a blessing for me, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. And is a blessing yes. for me. Yeah, still to this uh, day. And absolutely. what do you do for a living now, Mayor? I own an insurance agency, and my son and I also own a bicycle shop in Arlington. Okay. But our primary place is here in Grand Prairie. Is, is the insurance agency. Yes, that's so. wonderful. Yeah, and that's on South Beltline, right? It is indeed. Yes, it is. It has been for 20 plus years. Uh, 26. Becoming mayor. Uh, in what magic year? Uh, 1982, I believe, 83 maybe. 82 is 83, Three. Is, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And very excited about being mayor. Oh, absolutely. It was a great privilege for me. We, yes. we did a lot of good things. There were a lot of good things left to, to 
do, which are being done today uh, by you guys, for doing a tremendous job. Mm -hmm. But we enjoy the privilege and the pleasure of serving, and uh, it indeed was uh, yes. a highlight of our lives. And you were my first mayor to serve when I came on the council uh, in 85, and uh, it was very exciting because you were a mover and shaker and doing so many things all of these times. And whatever brought to your mind the Cinco de Mayo thing now? Oh. I, I, Actually, it's a great privilege, and the reason that I wanted to be here is because it's easy to initiate things. Yes. It's easy to be st a part of the start. Yes. But my emphasis and my what I really wanted to talk about today is the fact that it's got to, to be a labor of love for people to continue something for 20-plus years. Thank you. And, <laughs> and that's the reason I wanted to come and say, you know, it's a privilege for me to be given credit for being part of the start of this process to, to celebrate our diversity, yes. to understand, to help us all come to be together better as a community. That's a privilege to be part of the start, mm -hmm. but it's it's a lot more pride to be taken in being part of that continual effort. And that's where Gloria and, and the people who have assisted her come in because they've done oh, such a job with the celebration and made it such a wonderful event in our community. Yes. So while I'm excited to be part of the start, all the praise and glory goes to those people who are working day in and day out every year for 20 long years to make this the tremendous event that it is, a celebration for not only our young people yes. who, who perform school, each school celebrates the Cinco de Mayo celebration, and it's, it's it, the, the pride that these young people take in their participation, the pride that their parents have in seeing them take part in the participation, it brings more people down. They've just done it. This is one of the premier events in the community. And what what a textbook example of how community involvement can develop into something so beneficial for so many. It's, it's just a wonderful celebration. Well, I know you are considerably younger then than you are now, and I was also. Um, for a young man of your age at that time, I thought it was very, very unusual for you to have such forecasting vision to be able to know what was going to happen in Grand Prairie, Texas, because when you became mayor, we had very few Hispanic families in Grand Prairie. I believe there were uh, 300 families brought in on South, uh, South 8th Street uh, and, and put into a separate section there when Mayor Wagner was the mayor. And since that time, of course, we've grown Hispanically. And, uh, and at that time, you were a very young man. And, and uh, what was your thought on all of this? Well, fortunately, my, I was part of a process. My wife worked for what was Ling Timco Vaught at the time. Yes. And they, with a government program, had sponsored uh, bringing uh, unemployed and underemployed uh, Hispanic people into our community from Rio Grande City in the Valley yes. in order to... And so we were part of that program. But more than that, the community, the neighborhood that I live in had a large number. A number of my friends were Hispanic. Uh, we had a large Hispanic community in my neighborhood. And it was something that we needed to learn about. And, and I always feel that the more you know, the, the better you are at getting along yes. in your community. And so we, we really thought it would be an education process as well as a fun celebration. Yes. Now, how about your kids? They went to school. Uh, uh, out in that area. What did they think about uh, their dad being uh, so forward with his uh, uh, process? I don't think any of us thought anything about it. We just thought it, came it, was, natural. A, it was just another example of, in, of being involved in, in activities, whether it were senior citizens mm -hmm. or, or the youth or, mm -hmm. or the celebration of Cinco de Mayo. It's all just part of a development process mm -hmm. that you go through mm -hmm. in life. And what schools did they attend? Uh, the Rayburn Elementary School, okay. where Andy Jackson was the uh, principal Pres at the time, mm -hmm. and then uh, my son went to Jackson Elementary, and my daughter went to was the first class to go to Kennedy Elementary. Oh, yes. Of course, both of them went to South Grandbury so High School and graduated two from SMU. Two warriors and SMU. The SMU. Yeah. That cost you big bucks, Mayor. <laughs> 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 uh, that is a wonderful, hmm. wonderful school, and it's. Uh, I know that they are really excited. And uh, what do they do for a living now? My son uh, has an insurance agency at our office in Arlington, Arlington? 4400 mm -hmm. Matlock mm -hmm. in Arlington. And my daughter is a, uh, I, I always say she pushes drugs. She, <laughs> she sells drugs. Pharma she's a pharma pharmaceutical salesperson uh -huh. for Abbott Labs. That's wonderful. So. 
All right. Now, uh, of all of these things, do you have any grandchildren? We have one grandchild. Name it. Sienna. All right. And we have another on the way. Another on the way. Yeah. So we're excited about that. Yes, obviously. you are. And we, we've learned to brag about it. And I know that Doris won't be mind, mind being called grandmother, but now how about my mayor? Oh, I love it. Uh, it's it's precious. Uh, have you ever had to do any babysitting with your we grandchildren? We had the privilege of just completing a, the Wednesday through Sunday of this past week, celebrating our little granddaughter's presence with us. We went to their house in Dallas and babysat with her. Now, that is a new and role for you, isn't it? It's wonderful, though. We really enjoyed it. At yeah. first, I was more involved with their puppy dog, but <laughs> as the child <laughs> reached closer to a year, I've become more involved with the child. And do you still follow uh, the routing of the Cinco de Mayo, something that you thought would really help Grand Prairie, Texas, and are you really proud of it now as you were apprehensive about it maybe when you first started? I, I couldn't be prouder, especially of the wonderful job that these people have done. I mean, Oh, they've, it's such a beautiful celebration and involves so much of our community. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything to have gone any better. It really is beautiful. Good. If you had to write a paper on it, what would you say was the most exciting thing that you've seen come forth from all of this uh, for the community? Well, the fact that they've done so much good for the young people, you know, yeah. celebration, uh, participation in scholarships, you know, just a complete package from mm -hmm. elementary school through high school. They've uh, our young people have participated, and not only have they participated, they've learned by participation as well as earned scholarship. Mm -hmm. Not earned, but been granted scholarships. Mm -hmm. and, and just you know, you as I said, you couldn't have a, any celebration that's done a better job anywhere in this country mm -hmm. than this celebration mm -hmm. has for Grand Prairie mm -hmm. and those students who have earned and learned mm -hmm. and received scholarships because of. Now, the Cinco de Mayo has very significant historical meaning, especially to Mexico and to the Hispanics that come to us from that area. But now, don't you think that we as uh, United States citizens now have learned more and appreciate more what has come into our community because they have had this celebration? I'd like for you to hear your uh, views on that. I'd like to say th that's a really valid point and I probably would not have been involved in it initially had it not been for Sam Sines who has tried to I was maintain a would historical say, perspective on the that celebration. Wonderful? And uh, he was a close friend uh, uh -huh. at the time and continues to be and someone who I have a great deal of respect for he and his family. And uh, he, has, he has made sure that we maintained a historical perspective or helped maintain the historical perspective of the celebration. And that's beautiful, a very important part of it. Yes, and many of us have learned uh, to appreciate it much more now that we've had the celebration and know the history too. So, uh, probably appreciate and understand completely because I probably knew, actually knew very little about Cinco de Mayo prior to Sam in involving me in the process and Gloria making it the celebration that was, it makes us all aware of what it's about. That's good. All right, now, Gloria, we're going to let you have just a little okay. bit of time, though, because uh, the mayor, uh, I thought uh, that as a young man, that was very, very unusual for him to come up mm -hmm. with something that would benefit the city. Even though he's the mayor, his things are on economic development, streets, mm -hmm. uh, sewer, water lines, and all of these kind of things generally. But then all of a sudden he comes up with something that, that has changed uh, the face of Grand Prairie, Texas in their celebrations. This is probably the main celebration that Grand Prairie has at, at this time until we had until we had the horse race track and we've had some real exciting things happen from that. Yes, what do you think about that, Gloria? Well, I think it's I think it's exciting. I think it's uh, that that we're able to uh, involve all of our community. We're lucky that we live in Grand Prairie, yes. where we celebrate our diversity, the different cultures, unlike some of the cities uh, surrounding yes. Grand Prairie. Um, I think that uh, we're kind of like a big mixing and melting pot here in, yeah. here in this community. And I think it's, I think it's wonderful. And I, the fact that he was young, I was young at that time too. <laughs> <laughs> we all were young. We were all time. young once uh, upon a time. Uh, yeah, and uh, 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 some, things, some things are meant to happen. You know, yeah. it was uh, unlikely that two girls that worked in a law firm in Lubbock, Texas would wind up in Grand Prairie, Texas Together. and recognize each other. And, and yeah. uh, yes, and 
uh, Jerry has always been so involved in the community and, and inclusive, and that's important. Yes. It's so important. We learn from each other. Well, didn't you feel really special being sort of a newcomer to Grand Prairie, Texas, not one of the old guard that was uh -huh. here forever and ever, and have the mayor, the mayor of the city, which is a very, very important and statuous position, uh, to say, I'll help you do something that will benefit the city and benefit you all. What, what's your I take on that? I thought it was that? exciting. I, yeah. I thought it was, uh, and uh, when, you, when you see, when you meet and see Bassam and, and Gus and their enthusiasm and their uh, keen insight into business. Yes. Uh, and and uh, it's it's quite flattering and uh, tremendous that they would come to me and say, what can we do? And can we work together and do something like this? And it's a tremendous, mm -hmm. tremendous festival that involves everyone in the community. The churches, uh, businesses, uh, the schools, the city, uh, all of the departments in the city virtually are involved in this celebration. Environmental uh, department and health department, the police department, the parks and recreation, all of those uh, functions. So, I mean, it's the whole city, the whole community is working together. I know to they are us. now. I want you to tell me about the first celebration that you all had. The, uh, <laughs> now, when he's given you the green light uh -huh. and, and Gus and Osam have really come up come front and center, they, uh -huh. they're they going to put more money in it even though they got the other one off mm -hmm. to a bad start. Tell me about the first celebration. Where did you have it and what happened? The very first celebration that we had was at City Hall. Very small celebration, uh, but all of us saw a lot of potential. There were maybe a maybe hundred people that went downtown and we were all so impressed. The very, very you didn't have a parade that first we, year? We didn't have a parade. We didn't have a parade Terry Jackson was the one that says, you have to have a parade. Yes. And uh, that was like four, uh, year four or five that we had a parade. Yes. This year, I mean, last year we had over a thousand people parade entries yes. in the parades. Yes. And uh, this year, both of our high school bands are gonna be in it. And, and Jerry was the one that said, in order for us to make this thing grow, we've got to involve the school. We've got okay. to involve the city and the school. Here he is As, thinking again. Yes. Yes. Get yes. the schools. Absolutely. Yes. Once we involve the school and we involve people like Liz Martin, uh, Susanna Ramirez, uh, we were able to come up with, with an idea of how to make the thing grow. We were able to come up with an art show. This year we had over 600 entries and the talent is incredible. Who was the superintendent of schools when you first involved the schools that I, we can now give him a kudo? I believe that it was uh, Mr. Crawford. Dr. Crawford. Yes, Dr. Crawford. And and every superintendent since has been involved. Yes, yes. Uh, they support it. Uh, and I mean, it goes down the line. You can't have the support of all the teachers and all the counselors and all the social workers and all these people that work on it were it not for the support from the head. Were you still yeah. holding down a full-time job when you did all of these other things too and started this Cinco business? I, I, I was telling Francisco, I don't think I'm ever going to retire because I'm having too much fun. All right, who is Francisco? <laughs> and Francisco is, is my better half, my husband. Magnificent yes. young man. Yes, he is. We've been married 42 years and, and he's so supportive and in every endeavor that we set out to do, and he's always working alongside of me. Yes. Yes. Always in charge of the cotton picking parade line and everybody <laughs> up. He is. Or do he you is. have any children that have come along in this Cinco activity? We had, uh, we all of our kids graduated from, from school here in Grand Prairie, and I want to say that we have a wonderful school system in my opinion. All right, who We're, are your children? I We've have, got to have them. I have Francisco, my son. Uh, he lives in Rockwell. He's a, a real estate developer. All right. We have Delia, my oldest, and Delia is a school teacher, All fourth right. grade school teacher in Tyler, Texas, All right. Caldwell Elementary. And then Margaret. Uh, Margaret is my, uh, she's a mover and shaker. Yes. She's a regional account executive for Comcast. Yes. In uh, Bethesda, Maryland. Yes. So, and we have five grandchildren. All right, it's now you've got to name the five grandchildren. Oh, I'm sorry, six, I forgot. <laughs> we have a brand new one. Oh, oh. Yes. Oh. Last we weekend, yes, weekend before last. Yes, she was born, in fact, she's a week old today. All right. She was born on, on Monday. Start uh, at the week. first, though, and give okay. me all of it. Uh, my oldest is Ethan, Ethan right. Elkins, and he's uh, nine years old. Uh, he's a fourth grader at Caldwell Elementary in Tyler. And then uh, Margaret and Frank had babies together twice 
um, uh, Margaret has a five-year-old, Jack Powell. Uh, Frank has um, Isabel Carrillo. All right. Uh, they, they're born within two weeks of each other in October. All right. And then we have two December babies. We have uh, Gabe, who was born on Christmas Eve. He's three years old. And then we have Rhett Powell, and he was born on the 13th of December. And now we have Madeline Elizabeth Singley. How and beautiful. Yes. Eight pounds, six ounces, born last Monday. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason you're on the show today, because mm -hmm. you were supposed to be on last week, mm -hmm. but you had to go and wait for that baby to that's be here, right. right? I had to do the same thing as the mayor. We had to babysit. <laughs> <laughs> that was and wonderful. Help. Yes. And what a wonderful family. And you've had this family. You've worked yes. out of the home, and you've been the champion of Cinco de Mayo for 20 years. Now, Mayor, don't you think that's a real salute to that lady? Absolutely. Yes, Absolutely. yes. But along oh, with you. her came Francisco Sr. Right. Who has been, I guess, one of the most uh, wonderful aid and abettors. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, he was the first person to run for um, office in Lubbock, Texas. And uh -huh. in fact, in the Texas Tech book, he's a graduate of Tech. Uh, mm -hmm. they, they write about his his entry. We were very young. We got yeah. involved in the political arena, and mm -hmm. we've always we've always been involved, even from projects like paving the streets in the barrios of mm -hmm. Lubbock, Texas, mm -hmm. to everything that comes along. Every bond mm -hmm. issue here in our city, mm -hmm. we make sure that we become knowledgeable knowledgeable about the issues and and get out there and, vo and vote and encourage everybody mm -hmm. to vote. What do you do for a living now? I work for the uh, legal center of Jose Angel Gutierrez in Dallas. Um, I'm a consultant with a firm and then I'm also a partner in a home health agency. We just we just got our business set up and uh, we're going to be doing home health wow. and so doing that on the side and and you're still other. going to do Cinco. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. 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 Pulling up pulling a program together like this for this year Tell me, do you have a committee that works with you? Yes, we do. We have, obviously, Bassam is an integral yes. part and the people that work with him, Joanna Cardoza and Lydia Redondo. And those people, they right. give and give and give. Who is yes. the longest running person that's been on your committee? Is there anyone that's been there for 20 years that's still on your committee? Um, Bassam has been there from the very beginning. All right. Uh, Bassam and, of course, Francisco. Susanna Ramirez, okay. she's a principal of Seguin, yeah. and uh, she's been involved with it since then, and uh, Lydia and Joanna have been with us from the beginning. So you, yes. you have a, a, a quite a group that you're going to have to honor on this 20th anniversary, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And then we have Doug Beek, my goodness, from the city of Grand Prairie. Yeah. And Doug is absolutely incredible. It's been uh, wonderful to Yes, he has. Yes, he has. I mean, when you put an event like this together, you have to have sign-offs from every major department with the city of Grand Prairie. Mm -hmm. And you have to coordinate everything with the schools, the school program, because you want to make sure that everybody that wants to participate is given an opportunity to perform. In this uh, 20 years of hard work yes, and drawing people from the community in, mm -hmm. how have the community responded as far as you're concerned? the community has been absolutely incredible and then the business community has been outstanding also we have national sponsors for our Cinco event we have uh, Darden restaurants that's a Red Lobster's Macaroni Grill uh, Olive Garden um, I'm forgetting a restaurant I know but they're national sponsors they're out of Florida that that underwrite our event and then we have rooms to go they're out of High Point North Carolina and um, all of those people send representatives in the day before the event to come out here and look at the site, to meet with our group, to see what we can do to make the event better. And uh, so it's, you know, we have wonderful support. Wonderful. Yes. I hope we've given kind of a little running start on, the, on this 20 year history that we're celebrating this year. Uh, I think that is remarkable because I've been with you 20 years. Yes, ma'am. And, yes, uh, ma and I've been doing television for 26 uh -huh. years, and uh, we didn't have you on television the first time, but you were always announced uh -huh. and uh, all of these things. So I feel like that uh, it's been an exciting adventure that the three of us have had yes. uh, in bringing this forward. I've got to get one thing before we close out, and I don't have but about a few minutes left. Yes. I, want, I want the mayor to look out into his camera 
and I would like for you to encourage the citizens of Grand Prairie and let them know how meaningful this has been to you and that if they would participate in this and learn more about this and have a good time and help with the diversity of Grand Prairie, Texas, that's your charge. Thank you, Ruthie. And Ruthie says it so well as always, but I encourage all of you to come down and see our young people, participate in this event, learn, and be a part of it. You'll be thoroughly rewarded by that. Thank you for the privilege of being here with you today, Ruthie and Gloria. It's, it's an honor for me. And I'll tell you one thing, if we knew which way east was, we would bow three times to the east to you for being uh, innovative yes. enough as a young man with a new <laughs> job as the cotton picking mayor of this town, uh -huh. which is sort of a young town in a sense, and yet it's a, an older town in history because uh, you gave us a, a start and a direction that we really needed, and we appreciate more today now than we did maybe when it started, and we've learned so much history and so many other things. Now, I would like for you to take this time now mm -hmm. to look into your camera, and I'd like for you to thank as many people as you can for 20 years of service and, and name drop some more and, and be sure and hit all of the high spots of the people that have helped you <laughs> okay. because you've been, you've been at it for 20 years but somebody mm -hmm. else held your hands. Absolutely, you do not do this kind of celebration and this kind of job unless you have people that hold your hand and, and help you. And uh, you know, in addition to Bus and, and uh, to Bassam and Gus, uh, we've got people like Carlos Porras from Darden. We have people like Josepi Cart from Rooms to Go. Uh, we have all kinds of new sponsors this year, like All Smiles Dental, like uh, Resource One Credit Union, uh, Wells Fargo. They've been with us every year. You have people like uh, uh, Marshall Sutton with uh, Grand Bank of Texas. Yes. Uh, he supported our art contest, uh, as has Wells Fargo. Uh, for at least 15, 16 years. Yes. And uh, you have people like Rebecca Shaw. You, you've got to have a group taking care of the booths set up. Yes. You've got people like John Lopez, who works with the Federal Reserve Bank, and he's one of our members. Christine Gonzalez, one of our social workers. Yes. Uh, of course, How about uh, the city of Grand Prairie, Texas? Do you get any help from them now? Uh, absolutely. Uh, Doug Beak, uh, and uh, all of the police department. You know, the, the police department honor guard has had our, led the parade three or four years in a row. And, uh, uh, I noticed in your booklet, you have a beautiful booklet. Who publishes that little booklet you put out? Our book, our, our book is published with ProPress, uh, Reggie Moon. And Reggie is doing an outstanding job. He's the, the third printer that we've had in the 20 years that we've been doing this. Yes. And he's doing a great job. You have ads from every city council person nearly. Oh, yes, oh, we yes. do. Everybody on the city council supports us. They, uh, and, and you know, in the book, the reason that we put out the book is, number one, to acknowledge our sponsors, to uh, showcase all of our scholarship winners, yes. to showcase our art winners. And uh, uh, so, Everybody participates and everybody helps us. This year we'll be awarding 14 scholarships. Good. And uh, That's so wonderful. it's a wonderful, wonderful event. Well, yes. This has been a real good set, too. I want to thank you, Mayor, for taking the time from your very busy schedule and give Doris our love and, and tell her that you did a real good job sending you up here as an ambassador mm -hmm. to bring to our minds something that uh, we really give you credit for helping to start this start us on the way to uh, really mm -hmm. celebrating diversity when it wasn't popular. And that's very important to some of us. And we want to thank you for the time you give, even now, today, because you're still a mover and shaker, uh, maybe not on the highest level where you're on television every day, but we want to thank you, Mayor, for being here. Pleasure to be with you. You've been wonderful. Thank you, mm -hmm. thank you Gloria. And thank you so much for uh, including me this morning. Yes, and thank and you for us. being the head honcho of Cinco de Mayo so for thank 20 years. So it's really great to celebrate you. with you all. Thank and you. And this is Ruthie Jackson reminding you that history is as we live and do and that we document it correctly.